Hello again, it's nice to see that you've returned. For more art adventures, we're gonna have fun and do some art with culture too, cause every day is special. Hey, hey there, my amazing kids, all the way up there at, at OPK, my grade threes and fours. Hope you're having a great, great day. I'm always so excited to be here. It's my favorite time of the day. I'm so glad to see your smiling faces and I'm so proud to be in your good graces. Yes, I'm always so, so happy to be here working with you guys, bringing some art up to your school. And how was your Halloween? Was it so much fun? I bet you got a lot of candies, went trick-or-treating, and I know things were a little bit different this year. Some kids didn't go trick-or-treating, some people didn't hand out candy, but things are different because of COVID-19 and the world's a very different place. But hey, you know what? By next year, we should be back to normal again and have Halloween just like we've always had it. But hey, it's always fun anyway. Now, the first thing we always do when we see each other is what? You guys know? That's right, we say hello in Cree, and I want to hear you nice and loud. Say the Cree word for hello, which is... Tanse! That's right, it's Tanse. You know that as well as I do. Now let's say it on the count of three. Are you ready? Piak! Nisa! Ninsta! Tanse! <laughs> good job, you guys. Amazing. You're always so good at doing that. Amazing job. Good work. It's always great to learn those Cree words, say them as many times as we can because it's important to keep the language strong. All right, you guys, now we finished our greeting. Now I want to tell you about something really, really special. So recently, I went to Lethbridge, Alberta to go do a puppetry film. That's right, I went away as a puppeteer and that means somebody who operates puppets in plays and this was down in Lethbridge for the Blood Tribe Nation. Now these videos were COVID awareness videos, teaching kids how to wash their hands, stay socially distant, wear a mask, but all done with puppets. And guess what? The best part about it, they were indigenous puppets, just like you and me. So let's take a little look at this amazing time I had. I want you to watch this video and enjoy. Here it is. Good day. Good day, children. Good day. Good day. Good day, children. Good. Hey, everyone, it's me, Lance Cardinal. I'm sort of here on set, uh, just getting ready to film our uh, PSA for the Blood Tribe. And uh, it's so cool, it's like a COVID thing, but you know what? We all gotta do our part, so I'm here repairing some puppets. I got a needle and thread here, and I'm gonna sew. Uh, the granny's got a little bit of repair to do. So I'm gonna do some sewing here, and I'm so excited, so I'll let y'all know how it's going. So anyway, have a great day, guys. See you soon. Thank you. Now this is going to be a vastly different day. Some children are at home and are watching online from that camera. I can see most of you brought your masks and I can also see you are not wearing them correctly. Today,
Hey, hey, welcome back, you guys. Wasn't that awesome? Oh my goodness, I had so much fun doing those videos and working that puppet. And you saw my favorite puppet, Mr. Smarty Pants with the glasses. That was my character I got to perform. He was the teacher of the school. So, so fun. So thank you for watching that. And hopefully one day, after all of our puppet training, you'll be able to be a puppeteer too. I know you will, because it's so much fun. All right, well, now that we've learned about the puppetry and said hello, let's go on to our Cree word of the day. Let's write the Cree word of the day. This is the word that we say that, that sort of talks about what today's theme is and even what today's art project is. Now, a lot of you know that right now it is almost Remembrance Day and that is a day that we celebrate and honor all those people who fought in the world wars and uh, the veterans who survived and also the veterans who did not come home. And we honor them and we celebrate them by wearing the poppies on our shirts. So today, our Cree word of the day is we remember. And the Cree word for we remember is ke kis kisanao. That's right, ke kis kisanao. And that means we remember. So I want you all out there to give it a shot. On the count of three, we're gonna say it all together. Kiss, kiss, kiss and now on the count of three. Are you ready? Piak, Nisa, Ninsta, Kiss, kiss, kiss now. That's right, you guys, amazing. And that means we remember, and it's something that we have to do. Remember all those who fought for us and honor them. And that brings us to our project of the day and this is gonna be such a fun one I'm so excited to show it to you are you ready okay here it is it is a ooh, balloon painted poppies that's right we're gonna make these amazing painted poppies today but we're not gonna use paint brushes we're gonna use balloons to paint with which is so much fun so right here we have we remember on the top now you can write this on there if you want. You don't have to. I did, I kinda like how it looks when it has the words on it. So we're gonna put this on the side. This is our little sample. I have our little, my little assistant who likes to hold things for me. All right, buddy, give it a hold. Oh, there he is. He's holding my paper for me. He's the best assistant ever. There we go, right there. And now we have our little sample. We know what we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six poppies, or as many as you want, it's up to you. So the first thing we always do when we have our new project is get all our supplies together, so let's do that right now. First thing we're gonna need is a paper plate or a styrofoam plate. Styrofoam is better for this project, and that's where we're gonna put our paint and dip our balloons in. Next, we're gonna need paint. I'm gonna need three colors of paint today. We're gonna need yellow paint, red paint, and black paint. And that's how I have my paint all mixed up, so we'll deal with that in a little bit. Next we're gonna need, hmm, what else? Oh, paper. So today we're gonna be using an 11 by 17 size paper. This is also called tablet paper. Uh, so if you want to make sure your teacher has a nice big paper, you can also use a small paper, it doesn't matter, but these ones allow you to have more room to do your balloons on, okay? So 11 by 17 paper, ready to go. We're also gonna need, oh, of course, Balloons! <laughs> I have two here just in case. We'll leave those right there. And we're also gonna need a marker or a black pencil crayon or a black crayon, whatever you have to make the stem of the flowers right there. Okay, so you ready to start? Let's begin. First thing we're gonna do is blow up our balloon. Now, blowing up balloon can be a little bit difficult, but um, I know you can do it. First thing you gotta do is kinda stretch it out like this, all different ways. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Like this. And make sure the lip of the balloon is facing outward. Sometimes it gets stuck on the inside and that can be a little bit difficult to blow up. So there we go. Our balloon top is nice and showing and we stretched out a little bit. Now let's blow it up. Now I wanna blow them not very big, maybe the size of an orange or an apple. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah, that's about right. Maybe a little bit smaller. Mm, there, right about there, perfect. Now if you have water balloons, those are the perfect kind of balloons to use because water balloons are the exact right size. So there we go, our little balloon, shape of a, an apple so an, or an orange, so that's the right size. 
All right, the next step we're gonna do is prepare our paint. So we get our piece of paper to the side and put our plate down. Now we don't need uh, to put anything down on the table because it's quite a, um, a not messy project, but you are going to need to roll up your sleeves and maybe wear clothes you don't mind getting dirty, okay? Because it's just a bit of a messy uh, on the fingers. We have some finger painting involved. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're gonna put yellow and red. So we're gonna put our yellow and red first, not our black, okay? We don't wanna mix it up together. So first thing we do is put a blob of red. But not very much, maybe the size of like a loony or a quarter, okay? Just like that. And we also need some yellow. And we're gonna put the yellow right beside, okay? Not on top, right beside touching. There we go, perfect. And that's all we do to get the paint ready. It's pretty easy, right? Now hopefully your teacher has bottles of paint that can come by and squeeze those for you. Teachers, if you need some time to do that, pause the video and come on back. But if you're good to go, here we go. All right, the next step we're gonna do is dip the balloon in our paint. Oh my goodness, so exciting. Okay, so we're gonna put our paper down on the table right here. And we're gonna put our paint right about here. Now, when we're dipping our paint, you can't think too much about um, where we're gonna go or how we're gonna dip. We gotta let the paint do the magic. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. So we dip our balloon in. And see how the balloon has a, a, a pokey side? You wanna poke that side and only squish it down about that far. Okay, here we go. So go into the paint, just like that. Maybe go sideways a few times. Okay, there we go. And we go right onto our paper. Here we go. And we choose a spot we like and we put a blob. Right there, zoink. Oh, look at that, I love it, it looks so good. Now I bet you I could use this again, the same paint, let's try it. I'm gonna press it lighter so it's a smaller poppy. The harder you press, the bigger it gets, okay? Let's try it again. Right about, dip it into the paint again for a little bit of a different color. And we're gonna go like this, right about there, a bigger one. Oh, I love it. We dip in the paint again. We're gonna go right here. Oh, I love it so much. More paint. And where am I gonna put it this time? Maybe right here. And I think we're room for one more. What do you think? Right here, small. There we go. Perfect. We put our paint aside for now. And there we go. Check it out. Now you might want to add more red if you want. If you don't like the yellow and the red, you can add more red to make them more poppy-ish, but I like the red and the yellow. I think it looks really, really good. So that's how that looks. Perfect. All right, now, now comes the fun part. We're gonna do some finger painting. So what we're gonna do is take our balloon, and set it aside. <laughs> it's gonna get all painty, so I'm gonna put it in the garbage for now. Right about there. And what we're gonna do next is finger painting. So we get some black. And we drop some on our palette. Now you don't have to do this as well. If you have paint um, in a little tube, you can just put some down um, wherever you wish, but I'm gonna put some down the plate right now. There we go. Black. Just like that. See, black paint. So now we're gonna make a little black blob on the center of all of our flowers. Are you ready? Here we go. Take our finger, make a dot, just like that, and we pick where we want our center to be, little one right there. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> I put paint everywhere! <laughs> it's gonna add to the character of my picture, so we don't worry about things like that. We can dip our, paint in, our finger in there again. So obviously, be careful because it's gonna squish and, and drip everywhere. So be careful of that. We don't want that to happen. That was a bit of a mistake, but hey, maybe it's a happy accident. We don't know. <laughs> so we put this uh, finger in the paint again and we keep going wherever we want to put our poppy middle. Now it doesn't have to be right in the center. It could be wherever you want. It could be a little bit to the side. Whatever you think your poppy would look good, do it. No wrong choices in art, like I always say. And one more dot. Brilliant! Oh my goodness, I have one. Let's see. 
put this aside now. And our messy little paint finger. <laughs> okay, <laughs> get some paper towels. You don't want this to happen. <laughs> all right, so now we have all of our pictures, our, our poppies together, and they have a black dot. Check it out. I have six poppies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say it in Cree. Piak, Nisa, Ninsa, Niwa, Nianan, Kitasik. Six in Cree. So cool. All right, so we are all done our painting um, of the poppies. Now comes the next step, which is to add the stems. So we want to make sure our stems go whatever way we want. Maybe you want to go up and down like this, or maybe you want to go the long way. It's totally up to you. I'm going to go the long way because I think it makes the picture look a little bit more interesting. So what we do is get our black marker or our black pencil crayon, whatever we have, and we draw a line, okay? So here we go. From the bottom of the flower all the way to the bottom of the paper, just like that. Now don't think too hard about it. Don't worry about it being straight and perfect. It's a flower. It's natural. Now this one's going to be long. And it might go through the paint. Oh, it did! <laughs> now it looks like a little bit of a stem. See? Happy accident. And then this one here, it might go behind the other one. So we're going to cheat it a little bit and go like this. And down. Okay. And this one's going to go straight down from here. There we go! Check it out! These are my amazing poppies. And now the last part of this we can do is we can write down the Cree word kikiskisanao, which means we remember on the top. Let's try that. So K I K I S K I S I N A W K Kiskinau. And I always like to put down the English version so people know what it means. We remember. Almost out of room. Just enough room. <laughs> Perfect. So there we go. I wrote down Kiskisanao. We remember. Isn't that amazing? I love this craft. Such a fun and easy project to do. And you know what? You can do this anytime at home. You don't have to do it for poppies. You can make whatever color of a, of a flower you want uh, and do a, like a bouquet of like maybe prairie flowers. So now I have two beautiful pictures, one with a curvy stem and a bit of a, um, a, bit of a, a flickery stem and ones that are fully straight. So a bit of a difference. Awesome. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for me today. This is our beautiful painting. Thank you for coming and being a part of the art adventures. As always, it's been a pleasure. And may the creator watch over you as long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the river flows. Have a great day, guys. See you later. I love my painting. I put that up right on the wall. <laughs>